Hi, YouTube. Well, it's been about three months since our last video on the paperwork um, in our civil case against Morrison County Sheriff's Department. We sent in an injunctive relief to the Eighth Circuit Appeals Court in St. Louis, Missouri. Unfortunately, they were tyrants. Uh, the panel of judges agreed with um, Blackwell, although once again, Blackwell said that our case was not frivolous. And um, so the next step we took was to do a writ of searchatory, um, petition for a writ of searchatory in the U.S. Supreme Court at Washington, D.C. So this is our proof of service. It has been received in Washington, D.C. It was about two inches thick. I sent it in a box. Um, the first part of a writ of search Tory. Okay, that is telling them that we would like them to look at the lower court's decisions and make a decision on that. Okay, it has nothing to do with their actual claim. It's about what the lower courts have done and that they violated our 14th and 5th Amendment. And that is what the petition is about. So this is our proof of service. I'm just going to flip through a couple of these pages quick. This is the um, petition for a writ of searchatory to the United States Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit. Okay. Because we are kind of appealing what the Eighth Circuit did. Uh, questions presented. And that's about our 14th and 5th Amendment being violated by the lower courts which is the Morrison County Courts um, of 7th District and the 8th Circuit Minnesota Federal Court as well. Um, parties and related cases is what you need. There's, like I said, there's a whole series of things you need to go through. You don't need to do that. I put footnotes at the bottom. I thought that was kind of a special touch that I did. Uh, related cases. We went all the way back to uh, when we took Luke Watashik to conciliation and civil court, and um, the private attorney, Caroline Field, that we also took to conciliation and civil court. So the decisions of those are in there as well. Table of contents. This is what's included. It's about 23 pages in total, but then there is an appendix also. Table of authorities. These are all the cases that we listed. Laws, codes, and statutes. These are all the lo laws that we listed. <clears throat> Other references. Okay. Good to cite everything that you put into your um, petition. Petition for a writ of search story. Sorry, that it's not real clear. Okay. Then there's opinions below that you need to do. Um, we did the first, the last three opinions. So the Eighth Circuit, the Federal Court, Blackwell, and the district court, seventh district court. And there's jurisdiction and constitutional provisions involved, um, which is the fifth and the 14th amendment. And then there's the statement of the case that is a little more brief. So it's just a couple pages long. Oh four or five pages. 
And then there's reasons to support the motion for petition to grant writ of searchatory. And this is about 20 pages. So I'm just going to flip through that end. And deprivation of life, liberty and property. We listed um, some of the also cases that were in the news and some statistics. Okay. And we have the conclusion. And once again, people, we're just asking for default because they never answered in the first place. They never answered in state court. They never answered in federal court. And then once we got to the appeals court in the Eighth Circuit, they decided to write a brief. And um, the judges have all been going by what the former judges have said. So they really don't make any opinions on the actual laws that have been broken and uh, the procedures of civil of civil rules, federal civil rules, they're not going by the procedures that they put in place. So we're just calling them out on that. And we're asking for default with all the relief. Here's an index of appendices, A through F. Okay, and then I'm gonna stop there because all of our appendices are um, copied and some of them are clipped together and some of them are stapled and it is like, like I said about an inch thick so so we're hoping that the Washington DC US Supreme Court takes the case and then we'll see what happens from there but they at least um, put a docket number on as you can see from the beginning <clears throat> So it has been received. Have a great day.